Today we're going to be having a look at a shop rider scooter that has an electrical problem. Uh, this particular shop rider scooter does not have a status light. A status light is a wee LED that's usually fitted in the dashboard that will give a, a specific amount of flashes that advises a user uh, five flashes please check uh, the owner's manual there is a problem the owner's manual will actually tell you exactly where the problem lies so because this doesn't have a status light when you switch this one on you here can hear that audible tone slow beep telling you there's a problem problem may either lie within the speed port here the throttle pod could lie within the main control box which is located underneath the shroud and may also be a problem with the motor which is this one here motors right up to the black bit here and there's your electromagnetic brake that could be the problem as well so let's what we want to do is we want to take the cover off so we can expose all the wires at the back and we can see what's happening maybe a wires come off or maybe it's just a problem with the motor the brush units or the electric brake so let me just switch this off to get some peace Okay, what I'll do now is I'll remove the, the rear protective cover here. Okay, that's the protective cover removed. Now you can see the main control box here, much clearer now. Could be a problem with that. Uh, that's uh, the main motor wire going here. Orange and black connector. Some of the older ones were white connectors. And again, of course, you can see the motor better now here. We're still covering off all the wires leading to the controls, the fuses, the batteries, and the main tiller connection, which is there, the orange one there. Now that I've uh, taken the cover off, I'm now going to do a continuity check on the, the motor itself to make sure the motor is okay. You can also do a visual inspection uh, on the brush units. One of them's in there, another one's on the other side there. But first of all, I'll give a quick continuity test here with some multimeter. There's a multimeter there. Set it to continuity. My multimeter is quite handy. Continuity, audible beep. I know for a fact there's no break. I remove a connection here for the the motor. So you wouldn't do that side because that goes into the control box here. You do this side here, one here, one here, doesn't matter which way you put it round. Continuity, no problem with the motor. I'm going to do the same with the, the electric brake. Electric brake's a little bit shorter. It's hiding away in here. So what I'll do is I'll plug my multimeter in here. Continuity one there, one there, and there's no continuity there at all. That's me plugged it in on this connection here. There's nothing happening, it's a problem here. No continuity, it won't work. There's a problem with that brake to gain access to that brake. I'm gonna remove the wheel and the three nuts that you see there. One there, one there, one there. Right, so remove the wheel. Now, when you remove the wheel, you need to watch that you don't lose the Woodruff key. That's located in the transaxle. Oh, there's the Woodruff key come off. That kind of sits in here. In the transaxle, that slips in there. Don't lose that. If you lose that, the scooter won't work. Right, so we've got our bolts here, we'll remove that, screwdriver, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the electric brake off and I'm going to put it on the workbench and I'm going to stick 24 volts to it, so let me just mark that there with my marker pen So know exactly which way it went on. Okay, 
So when I put it back on again, I put another one on. I know that's the top connection there. Right. Another cable tie there. Right, this is our electric weight, this is a bad boy here. There's so much to it, this particular electric brake has not a micro switch on it and usually the ones that have the micro switch they will have a, a status light and a dash actually physically telling you the brake's gone. When we've done the continuity on this we put our male and female connection here, again doesn't matter which way you put it on, there was no continuity with this brake. When 24 volts is applied this disc should move around freely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this on the workbench, put 24 volts through it and see what happens. Right, now that I've taken the brake off the off the scooter, it's on my workbench here, that's your electric brake there. There's our original mat that we put on it. I want to now put 24 volts in here, I'll switch my power supply on and it's set to 24 volts. So I'll stick this on here and we should get a clicking noise on the electric brake, which we're not. Okay, that's 24 volts onto the brake. The disc is not free enough. Now let me just put a new brake on here to show you the difference. Let me disconnect that. Move that aside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when the 24 volt goes on a new brake. Join that up. You can actually hear it and see it move. Once we do that again. So that's moved now. You can actually see the disc is running freely. So what happens, this is actually a solenoid, this electric brake. So as power gets in there, when you pull your wee wig wag lever, 24 volts goes in here. The spring pulls, um, the coil magnetizes, uh, pulls the spring and lets the disc run freely. And that disc, is connected on to the motor and it just spins freely. Now you may be thinking, hang on a minute, there may be a problem inside here. Let's undo these bolts and have a look to see what's wrong. I would discourage that uh, because what happens here is there's lots of bits and pieces inside here, everything's talked up. If, if for your safety, if this doesn't work, throw it away and buy a new one. Works really, no problem whatsoever problem solved. Now we just need to refit that onto the, the scooter and you can ready to drive again.